Now, if you thought I like pancakes, I like Indian even more. I try to get those flavors in whenever I can. So I'm going to merge the two together today. So what I'm going to get you to do is just chop that red onion as small as you possibly can. And the same with that lovely green chili. Now, if you don't like chili, you don't have to use it, but we love chili. So I have some lovely bee sunflower here or chickpea flour uh, that you can find pretty much in every supermarket now. But if you can't find a supermarket, hop into your health food store. And the great thing is, it's naturally quite protein rich, this and naturally gluten free. So this is a gluten free and vegan dish, which is wonderful. And I have some cayenne pepper. I'm just going to plop in there. Nice. Some cumin, which of course is going to give it that beautiful aroma and taste and my beloved turmeric powder. So this has a bit of black pepper and coconut oil as well, which just helps you absorb it. Great thing about turmeric is it's a great anti-inflammatory amongst other things. So we want to plop that in there. That's quite a lot I put in there, but that's all good. We like the taste of turmeric and it's going to give it that beautiful colour as well. There'll be no inflaming around here with that much turmeric. No, there. not at all. Those vegans will be very happy, won't they? <laughs> they will. So I'm just going to add a bit of salt as well. So it's a nice Murray River salt flakes. Just nice. in there. And I'm also just going to do some black pepper. So in we go. So we, you can see we've really infused that batter already. All that's left now is just add a little bit of liquid. So I'm not using eggs on this one. Like I said, it is vegan and that's absolutely fine. It's easily done. So now all that's left is to add this lovely liquid a little bit at a time. So what we'll do is use that whisk to make sure that we don't get any lumps in there either. You can see that gorgeous color that we've got. Now, this is typically eaten for breakfast in northern India. So I love learning about how people do things differently, especially breakfast. So that's, that's it. it. That's the chili Add going that in, one there in there. Lovely. And all that onion? Yes, please. Okay. In it goes. Wonderful. So what we want to do is just stir that one up. Now I have my trusty crepe pan. I'm gonna get you to keep whisking that while I add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now, when you get a good non-stick pan, you don't actually need much, but with pancakes, we want to be extra sure that it obviously leaves the base. I like that. That's what we want, so we've got a little bit of that. And what we want to do is just have a little look at the thermo spot here. The moment it goes solid red is how we know that we are ready to go and we're at the optimal temperature, which is great for novice cooks, or if you're a bit multitasking, look, if it's solid, happy days. That's all we want. So what we'll do, just spread that around a little. And all we want to do is like get it's a great little recipe. I a like little it. a little ladle full of this one. And on we go. Nice. And we just want to move it around. Want a little bit more ladle full there? Oh, I can put some more in there for you. Wonderful. Do it around the outside. Do you want it to go all the way to the edges? Yes, please. Okay. Around there like that. It sets pretty quickly, this, Does this set mixture. Quite doesn't it? quickly. Nice. I but like the that. nice thing is, is that there's a little bit of texture to it with the onion um, and the chili there as well. So what we'll do is just keep our eye on that one and we'll flip it as soon as it's gone golden. Unbelievable, isn't it? So what I decided to do was lime pickle. I love it. Some people hate it, but I decided to just heat it a little bit. Well, actually, I think we'll make it a little bit easier on the palate. You know, when I thought you said hot lime pickle, I thought you meant lots of chilli in it, but you've heated it up in a pot. Good idea. <laughs> in not just a pot, the most beautiful pot, in my gorgeous red pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little dollop, and you can as well, like traffic lights, on each of them. It's sort of like a traffic light. They're the things you're supposed to stop at, aren't you? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. what I've heard about you. Yeah, yeah. So I've got a bit, bit of mango chutney, a little bit of yogurt. You can add some cucumber and red onion if you want to turn it into a bit more of a writer and some fresh coriander. Chocolate now that is a breakfast. Oh, I'm not sure if everyone want to touch it, but let's have a taste. It looks good. I love the colour. Yeah. The, the best in has got a really, really good yellowy colour. And I'll get a bit of that yogurt and mango chutney. Now you can use coconut yogurt if you want to make this completely vegan. Mm. I really like the flavour of this. It's got a real Indian flavour to it. The, mm -hmm. the, the, the pancake is really nice and soft. And it's got those real savoury in there, the chilies in there. You can feel it hitting me. And I love the way you heat it up the pickle. It's great. The lime pickle is centre stage there, really, but absolutely beautiful. And we whip that up in no time at all. Really quite nutritious as well. Now, I think it's time for dessert, don't you think? Mm-hmm. 